Monkai Star Rail, a game that most people really just know, probably, not this page, I don't really know why I put that page, um, <laughs> uh, we're, that's F1, why is that F1? Okay, I, you can tell I don't play this game, so, <laughs> I don't know, I can't Star Rail, the game where most people just warp exactly, uh, all the stuff where your banners are basically your best friends, but, me, I'm just that short for reaching, truthfully, another temple. Now, you may ask, how many temples have I done? I'll get to that later. So, about well, Honkai. So, Honkai itself is a very interesting game thus far. The reason why I say that is because of the fact that most people are debated, debated with... Debated? I don't know why. Why did I say debated? <laughs> most people just want to do kind of like okay let's I, I feel like we need to explain this more so there's two there's two sides to this game right there are exactly the free to play f2p which i am because i don't really want to pay for gotcha games and then there is the the people who exactly are whales or people who buy um and this game is really not a game where like you actually get anything of kind of merit purchasing the game because you still have to put in the time to get anything out of it um free to play you have to do a lot more than that um and here's really what you see when it comes to the whale or the purchasing so you basically buy all this stuff for 99 for 300 now what i know about this is that you get i don't want to do pouch I'm guessing these are just one. So one each gives you essentially one stellar gem. Stellar gems are the things you use to do your pulls. Um, you also use stellar gems to get kind of energy because what is a gotcha game besides tax you on energy so you can actually grind for the items that you need in the video game. I don't get it, but most people probably do. I Again, I don't get it. Um, I should have also said hi. <laughs> You're probably noticing what is with the what is with this animated face. What is with this? Um, so I've changed, and this is gonna be a different video than usual. I'm just kind of just talking, um, in my usual stance. It's the same thing as like my streamer stuff. The difference is I don't really use this model that much. I use my 2D model on stream nowadays. Um, but Anka Star Rail is a game that I've seen many people play and enjoy. Um. I don't understand why, <laughs> but I've seen a lot of people play and enjoy it to the point where I, well, actually, I didn't really decide to go play it. My friend very much was like, hey, play this game, and I kind of started playing it kind of off and on, basically, really just AFKing during work whenever I can, because this is the type of game where you can do AFK, you can AFK, read manga, watch a show, while a battle goes through. It's not going to be always the best thing to do, but you can do that. Now, the reason why I'm showing this screen exactly is because this is the pay, this is the pay to win, which, again, this game doesn't really have a pay to win system because at the end of the day, you're really just paying for a hero or a character, essentially, to kind of get to complement your team. It's not really like it's you're winning because at the end of the day, everybody's losing because this is a gotcha game. It is an RNG-based game. It is essentially gambling. The only difference between free to play and um, pay to win essentially is the fact that like you're basically paying for pulls rather than the free to play players basically grinding hours and essentially doing a lot. Now, this is a, again, I've never paid for anything. I've never will. Um, I've grinded basically all of this today. I had about 24. I think I started at like maybe three o'clock it is currently 8 17 at night um and i'm almost there to 1600 i really will just do one battle show you the afq system and then pulling and i'll tell you how much i've pulled if i get it lit if i don't get this current lucha banner i'm gonna be sad but <laughs> we're gonna explain stuff so how do i feel about the game the game itself is not bad at all it has a pretty all right story um, the characters are also really nice to complement each other. You can actually do a lot of different, different uh, energies based on your character. Um, 
the really interesting part of games I haven't really played much because I don't really touch Shouchi games, like I said, um, is that you can actually synergize and actually make your artifacts. The artifacts themselves are stuff you can, you have to grind for. So if we go to my characters, again, all these characters I've gotten from free pulls because I don't pay for shit. Um, like, look at all these. Look at all these folks. But here's the thing. Everything you hear, you have to grind for. This, I thankfully got, and I didn't have to grind for it. But all your, like, cones, which is essentially the thing that kind of makes or breaks your character, um, kind of gives them a, a pretty good ability, depending on what they like to do, um, or what they do, essentially. Kind of, you need to level up as high as you possibly can in order to do pretty much anything. Um, that's really a light cone system. Traces, they also augment your stuff. They complement your build, essentially. Well, not really complement your build, but they make it so you get powerful. It's like your, your food, essentially. You eat food, you sustain life, essentially. You get, you do stuff, I, I guess. I don't know, I don't know place. <laughs> I don't play this game. Um, I'm very much a plub when it comes to this game, which is like most games, but I'm very much a plub. So, this is essentially what you need to do, which is level up. And everything you need, you have to grind for. Everything, and it shows you what you need to get, what you need to grind for it to actually get it. Um, again, and the thing, like I said before, everything built is on energy systems. So, I'm probably going to show you in a second, after I explain relics. The relics themselves as well are the things that actually give you your boost, can actually increase your health, attack, or defense. As you can probably tell, I'm using Fire MC. Now, I say Fire MC for the unknown, uh, the unknown, uninitiated, there you go, because I speak English, it's my first language. Apparently not. But, so, Fire MC himself is basically your tank MC. You have two. You have your MC of Preservation, which is the tank, and you have your, things like imagination, I don't really know. Uh, abundance, not abundance. What? Where is? Where are you? Where? Where? I don't remember. Where are you? I don't remember where he is. Um, he's 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 basically damage. But he does the same type of damage as I think it's like imaginary. I don't remember. He's the same damage as Natasha. Um, but essentially, one does one is basically just for damage. The other one is for tanking and giving shields, which is why I like him because I kind of need it. And people always say Natasha's trash, change it for another healer. But I actually do like Natasha for she is. It's whatever. But yeah, you need to grind for these, these stuff. Well, for all these items, essentially. Which, like I said, what? I didn't want to equip it. I want to, whatever. Um, this is going to be scuffed. I'm not barely adding this. So, essentially, you're going to enhance all this stuff. Again, the enhancement materials you also need to grind for. Um, which is annoying. So, as you can see, you have this which is your main thing, which enhances a good portion. You also just get rid of all this stuff because it's three stars and three stars are trash. The only thing you really need is probably four stars and above. So, that's really all you need to know when it comes to artifacts or relics, essentially. These, which I don't know how to pronounce the names, I'm going to butcher in five seconds, Edelons, whatever, are the things that actually will boost your character. So the things that actually make your character, like I said, this character, this Fire MC is very much based on the shield. So, as you can see, two. But the only thing where you can at least fire, you have to essentially just get it out in the world, get this special one that you can only buy, essentially. Um, for everybody else, it's the only way to get their um, Edelons is just to get duplicates of their character, and then you can, you need about six. So, in order to fully get the or e3 or e2 or e6 essentially which is what's called but in order to do that you need duplicates and then when you get e6 you actually have a full character which makes it amazing you know amazing who knows but yeah six is basically i wouldn't say game breaking but it does help them all right so that's really the need to know when it comes to genshin uh genshin <laughs> Uh, confusing the games I don't play. Um, but like, this is really all you really need to know. Now I'm going to warp. Well, I'm not going to warp. But I'm going to show you guys, peeps, a map. So, press F. Do this. I'm going to do 70. 
You also want to match up, make sure you can hit stuff. I have fire already. Don't have any lightning because I'm trash. Another thing, the reason why I said everything takes time to level. So, here's the thing. Depending on if you're very much a, um, like you full on want to play this game, it's going to take you hours to get everything you need. And also, paying attention to one team or one character is probably the best way to do that. But that also means you don't have a lot of the uh, types that you need. So, I have basically two types I can use. This is all my teams of 80, but I don't really have everybody like going up to, to par, essentially. Which, again, like I said, takes time and effort, which is why I don't do it. Um, and also, I play other games like Final Fantasy XIV. So, I go up. Hopefully, I can hit, hit that, because I'm very much have a mic in my hand while I'm doing all this. So, I have one hand, really, to do everything. All right. So... That's what I meant by you can speed up everything. So I don't have to touch anything. I can read manga, go to sleep if I wanted to. Uh, usually it doesn't take that long depending on what I decide to do. But this is really the best way to do this game. Depending. I can't really say that. It really depends because there are enemies where the AI won't really decide, do the best thing possible. So you may end up with a character dead, which means you are 3v4, 3v1 for a boss fight. Because these bosses, most of these bosses have phases, meaning you either have to go through two phases or three phases. Which means you have to kill the boss three times, which is never fun, especially in a gacha game where your healer is really, you only have kind of five, uh, what do you call it? Five energy, uh, essentially, which my character is blocking right now. Uh, so I'll show you peeps right now. I don't know where my mouse is. They have too many monitors. So, here's, here's the energy, essentially. You get them from just using a turn, which is your basic attack. Um, so you get energy every turn if you don't use your, your, your essentially skills. The thing is, that's not really the same for every character. Blade, the green boy, essentially. I don't remember how much I needed. I just need to waste 120, anyway. Um... So I have to do this four times. Again, that's just for my uh, dailies a day. But dailies are the best way to get stellar gems if you don't really play the game that much, essentially. Uh, also, I would just do dailies regardless because, again, it gives you 50 free stellar gems a day without you having really to do much besides this. Um, which, again, like I said, it's assignments, it's logging in, um, it's hitting enemies' weaknesses, and then it's just this. So I get I get this done really quickly. Um, but like I said, it's the game itself is kind of writes itself. Besides the story, the story, like I said, it's pretty good. I have friends that mainly just play this game, um, this game in Genshin, and have a wonderful time. I don't understand it, but they do, and that's all that matters. <laughs> like I don't, I don't get it. Um, like I said, I have to get on Final Fantasy. Like. Basically, right after I finish this video. So, because I'm hitting my Astro to 90 tonight, but because of the fact that I spent all day basically grinding, uh, I haven't eaten, I haven't showered, and I feel overall like garbage. But that is neither here nor there. <laughs> um, I think I need two more, which sucks. This is a really great video for you peeps. I really should have just killed twice and then done it, but I was like, let me just show you the battle. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, the game itself isn't, I don't really know how to feel about the game, right? Because gambling wise, I don't really care for gambling. Um, if you want to gamble, gamble. Um, it does destroy lives, but at the end of the game, it's at the end of the day, it's your own kind of design. If you want to gamble away your money to kind of chance, because like I said, it's very much chance. So. The reason why I say it's chance is because at the end of the day, you are chanting. Even if you pay money for it, you have a kind of 180, because I think it's, yeah, it's, so my initial understanding is that when it comes to a pull, which 10 pulls are easier, single pulls give you the same thing. Um, if you get a five star, you basically are having, like your five star can be in, 90 poles essentially so you have 90 poles till you get a five star in any essential banner which means 
That's 90 stellar gems. Which is not fun or really great to kind of grind for. Unless they have events, which they just had an event to give you 20 pulls. So you had three 20 pulls you can get from an event. And then you had stellar gems they also rewarded. So it actually is very easy to get that. Bad thing is, um, when you don't get your pulls from the stellar gems. Now, the reason why I said if you don't get so when this event came out, when this banner came out, I basically used all my solid gems um, to try and get the get Lucha, who's already an established character instead of the new, because I needed a new healer. Um, I also got a healer from it without really knowing, which is one of the new uh, characters called Gallagher, who's fire and he also heals, so it's really great. Don't use him yet. I think I have him to like level 70. Haven't really done anything besides give him uh, gear and a light comb, but I haven't really done anything else. So he's pretty good for what he does, essentially. Thing is, I got a five star. It just took me 80 pulls. Now that sounds amazing, it doesn't. But I didn't get the five star I wanted, which was Lucha, which means you have to go again. Now the bad thing is, that means. I have to go again from the essential one I had before, so it took me 80 pulls to get it. Um, that means now I have another, I have 90 more pulls to go if I don't get it. Which, if you can do math, that means 17. <laughs> that means I will essentially have to do, uh, if I do the maximum, that's 170 pulls in total. Which is a lot. It's very much a lot. Now, the reason why I was waiting for the polls to tell you is why exactly or how much I had is because of the fact that, like I said, it's a lot. So, this should be done now. Claim it. This is my daily, so I don't really do a lot. If I do, I don't do that. <laughs> so, it's literally long in the game. Dispatch one assignment, which you can again do is dispatch it and then. Because now they made it easier, so you can literally claim all and then re-dispatch based on the same menu. Uh, consume 120, which is what we just did, and defeat 20 enemies, which we did earlier. Um, literally grinding for that 60, which means I have enough. Now, the way I got all of my Stellar Gems without having to find anything, which I also haven't either explained, uh, explained at all. So, there's two ways to do it. You can do it one of two ways, which I did it another way besides... The usual way um you can go and explore and basically unlock every chest because there's chests around the game game that gives you experience points also five stellar gem which is not a lot at all but they can build up and give you stuff or you can do simulated universe which actually gives you more um we're going to tele teleport there so i can show you peeps what the interface looks like so you get stellar universe uh stellar which means, hey, after everything, you get 60 and also get your, um, I forgot what these are called. They're basically artifacts as well, as well relics, um, but they also boost your attack speed or attack, essentially, that does a lot. Um, so again, you get experience, you get the solar gems, and you get basically a way to actually get it, like a short way you get the stellar gem, which is Heritage Space Station. Otherwise, again, like everything in this game is RNG to see exactly what you're gonna get. Either this one or Fleet of the Ageless. So everything, everything's RNG. That's the same for everything. Do you have better options though, which is Golden Gears or Swarm Disaster. I say better options because at the end of the day, these give you a lot more. So you get 120. Again, you're not really getting much from it, but you're getting stuff. You're getting more stuff for leveling up your characters, which is a lot better than, I mean, a lot better, I, I would say. Um, but 120 is a lot better than 60. And also you get these, which is Star, star Rail Passage, which are your basic banner pulls, uh, your regular banner pulls rather than special ones. And that's really the better way. But the bad thing is you have to level up all your characters that you can possibly use. And hopefully you know exactly what the weaknesses are. Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Um, that's what I hate the most. This game that I spent so much time playing it, and I don't really get anything from it besides characters. That it's, it's really, I'm like, 
again, free to play gambles their time while uh pay to win gambles their money. That's really just what you're gambling. At the end of the day you're still gambling regardless. Um it's really just depending on what exactly you gamble. I'm gonna get some extra stuff right now. Nothing. Nothing from that. I love that. Alright, we're gonna do a warp. We're gonna do two. Two ten pulls. And then I will tell you peeps how much I spent time wise. Well not really time wise, but how many pulls I've made in this game for the stupid banner. And click. And purple means a fail. Gold means you got a five star. Purple is a four star. You always want a four five star. So you want a gold ring, which I'm gonna show now. Which is purple, which means I failed my pull. And that was my 150th 10 pull, which is bad because that means I got nothing for all the time I spent today, which is fun. Um, which means I have to spend 10 more days trying to get the stupid lucha. This is Gallagher, the healer I was talking about. I just got him again last night. Everything else doesn't matter because they're all like ones that I don't really care for that I'm going to get rid of. So. I don't even want to do another 10 pull because I was hoping to get it. <laughs> and I don't want to mess up my stuff. Um, I don't know if the pity, which is what people call them. Because um, I'm going to actually research that. So I can, <laughs> if I can show you people a 10 pull if that happens. Let's see. Is the regular warp. Um, special? Is it special? I don't even know what the, what it's called. Okay. That was right, it's special warp. Okay, cool. So it doesn't really affect anything I do on this banner, which means it's pity. the pity is different for every banner, which is actually pretty dope. All right, so we're going to do a 10 pull. We have five. I can only do 10. Um, it's trash, but I'm, I'm at least doing nothing. Um, no luck. Oh. Nothing I can really use them. It's probably going to be a Lycone. Please don't be. Yeah, it's like on the you. <laughs> I love how I called it though. Um, well, yeah, that was a waste of the day. Uh, but like I said, I did this really just for the video. Um, but yeah, like again, like I said, you're very much gambling your time, boy. Um, just for kind of a character that may help you along the lines. So how do I feel about the game? I guess trash because I've spent. I did 150 pulls and basically didn't even remotely get my character. Which means I've probably spent more time trying to get the pulls than most people would spend basically money wise. Well no. Is it worth because how much how much would that be? Let's see. Let's say I spent money, right? Trying to get this character. A pull is essentially pull itself is Okay, I don't know if this is the right, right thing to think about. Okay. Let's go. I, think, I don't think that's anything that's anything though. I don't really know how much this is. Whatever. But yeah, it's essentially I don't know. I think this is more of a thing of like maybe you get twenty nine dollars for one pull essentially which means you're spending 30 which means you're probably sending up to 100 i don't really know exactly this bonus which means you get truthfully maybe three pulls three temples i don't that the math is not math right now <laughs> but essentially it's very expensive to even buy your pulls so you probably spend a lot more money trying to get or well, pulling how much i've essentially pulled which is again one foot 150 pulls of the stupid stellar uh, special banner, and I spent a lot of time, and I'm gonna spend more time. But 
they really don't know where I was going in this video. So, <laughs> um, so I guess, yeah, play gotcha games as you want. Don't. Um, don't really care. Uh, have fun, though. Have fun with the games you, you decide to spend your time with, because at the end of the game, that's really all it is, is spending your time. So I guess, truthfully, the gamble you are doing with the time you're doing, well, when it comes to gotcha games, is about the same time you spend when you decide to play another a different game, essentially. Yeah, have fun. Have fun all you want. It's really going to be it for me. And I'm going to sign off. Hope you peeps have a good one. Bye. Love you all. Peace.